Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of One Round Left. My name is Chase and today in front of me I have the Colt AR-15A2 H-Bar Sporter model. This was the first rifle I bought when I turned 18 and I've owned it ever since. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of it or trade it or anything like that over the years. We're going to be going into the history of this platform. The A2 platform of AR-15s have actually been seeing a resurgence in the firearms community. So I thought I would take time to go into the original. So to begin with a few, let's go ahead and include the magazine, make sure that the weapon is safe as well. So standard 20 round box magazine, your typical uh, button release. Magazine's empty, pull back on the bolt latch. Obviously you can tell the rifle's empty, so let's continue with the review. This model came about in 1986 it was only available in the U.S. market for three years. After that, Colt went on to start doing a lot of military contracts for the uh, Army and Marine Corps. There's a few changes from an A1 to an A2. It did not originally come with this handguard. Uh, this one was put on a few years after I had it, but it actually made up just fine. So from front to end, I'll go through the differences between this and your M16A1, AR15A1 style guns. This was when the A2 Birdcage Flash Hider came out. Heavy barrel, one to seven twist. A2 front sight post. Moving on to the rifle uh, receiver, different adjuster sights. These are good up to 600 meters. That was one difference between the M16A1 and A2. A little bit better rear sights. This one still has the slab style lower receiver. And what I mean by that, it's mostly just flat. For a quick comparison, this is a clone build that I'm working on. If you notice, it has the different lines as well as the protector for the magazine release. And also A2 handguard this is what this rifle would have been issued with. Just sit that back to the side. The A2 stock was a little bit longer than the A1, a little bit different profile and shape. So was the uh, A2 pistol grip. There's a lot of people that love them, a lot of people that hate them. I've, I've always been a fan of them. They actually, I'm not real big on finger grooves because I've got big hands, I've got big fingers but it actually works actually perfect for my hands. Flipping it over, it's got the Colt Pony on it, of course. AR-15, A2, H-Bar Sporter model. It's got the uh, serial number, starts with SP. That was how they uh, helped differentiate their Sporter line versus their military contract line. Police models, all of that. Standard safety, one of the easiest safeties to actuate. You can just bring the rifle up. Safety's on currently. You can just bring it up. Good profile grip. You can really pick how you would want to hold it and shoot. You can just pick whichever is most comfortable for your hand, whatever you're doing. If you're gonna be mounting it. Great rifle. Again, this was not a service rifle. Uh, this one never saw combat, never saw police use. It's just been passed from owner to owner until it eventually found its way to me. But wonderful rifle. It's uh, a great gun. Uh, it's, it's really a show of where the US military was going in terms of a service rifle. They're doing a little bit of improvements to the A1. Also, you'd start seeing 30 round mags in all these. I just put the 20 in just to make it look a little bit like the older design. Also, the circular forward assist instead of the teardrop, another difference there. And you can still store your cleaning kits or your Skittles in your stock. Sling swivels, pretty standard. We can break it down just like any other AR-15. Just punch out, push out your pin here in the rear. Now, one thing different on these older generation ARs, you have screws on the front. 
So, you know, it's actually a good thing that they went to the push pin on the front as well. But the bolt comes out same way. Standard bolt, nothing crazy, just your regular Colt bolt. Same thing with your charging handle. Bolt latch is pretty much the same. Just put that back in. You find the trap that it rides in on. Don't push it in all the way because you still need room for the bolt carrier group to actually come in. But after that, it's ready to go. Also, another trick, uh, let's say you don't have a magazine, but you want the bolt in your rifle open, you take on your ping pong paddle, magazine catch. All you gotta do, pull the bolt all the way back, press at the bottom of it and hold it. See, there you go. Another neat trick, and also if you still need to, you can send it home, you know, do whatever you need to do. All right, well, let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm gonna take this rifle out to the range here in the future, take it out and uh, really show you what it can do. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.